Greetings and welcome to another edition of Science Sunday here in our capital city at the Connecticut Science Center. Uh, today joined by Thomas. Good morning. Good morning. So we're rotating through STEM educators, now part of Science Sunday. Uh, your first time, welcome. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm, I'm Thomas. I've been at the Science Center for about nine months and um, I'm really interested in evolution. All right, very good. And, and today we're speaking specifically to the eclipse and kind of the science behind it, how it all works. Yeah, so take a look at my model right here. For the eclipse, we have three um, stellar bodies that are involved. We have our sun here, which is shining light at our Earth over here, and we also have the moon. So as we know, the Earth moves around the sun and the moon moves around the Earth. And normally the moon is just kind of floating around the Earth, but every so often it comes into the perfect alignment so that the shadow of the moon crosses right in front of the Earth like this. And that's exactly what we're seeing when we look up at the eclipse. So from our point of view, it's just going to look like a little black circle over the sun. But this is what it would look like if you were to take a spaceship out into space and look at it from a lot further away. And we should point out, scale-wise, this is just for a demonstration. Yeah. Uh, distance and size are, are very different in, in yeah, reality. Yeah, the sun would be a lot bigger, the moon would be a lot smaller. But it's still pretty cool to look at the model. Yeah, and, and our, our weather's looking good for tomorrow, yep. um, which is great. And, and here in Connecticut, we're going to have 92.9% percent magnitude so pretty good viewing while we're not in the, the path of totality yeah it's going to be pretty cool to look at and here at the science center we're doing a whole eclipse day where you can come check out the eclipse we have all sorts of um, activities programmed around it it's going to be pretty cool all right so ctsciencecenter.org is where you can go to secure advanced tickets until midnight tonight that would include eclipse glasses otherwise you can get them for purchase tomorrow if you come yep uh, and all sorts of things planned all day long uh, scott haney and i will be here we'll be out on the plaza you guys have telescopes that are going to be trained skyward mm -hmm. uh, checking it all out so uh, it's gonna be a fun day of activities and again the weather's still looking pretty good yeah it's gonna it's looking like it's gonna be an awesome day all right thomas thank you so much uh, and of course we'll see you for another edition of science sunday next weekend